Hey everybody, this is Mark with Iable Tech Wintoid, and in this video we're going to be showing you how to run Mac apps without administrator access. So as you can see right here, I go to try to delete something and ask for a username and password. So this computer is managed by an administrator, but I don't have those credentials. And you may be wondering, how can I run an app now? Well, let's show you. So let's go ahead and download an app. We'll download a web block generator from our website, and we will go ahead and run the DMG. Now it's going to say drag the app to your applications folder. And if we do that, it's going to need authentication, a username and a password. But again, we don't have that stuff. So how do we do it? Well, what you want to do instead of dragging it to the applications folder is drag it to your downloads or your desktop or anything other than applications. Now, if we double click the app, you can see it asks, are you sure you want to open it? We can say open as you can see it runs perfectly fine. All of the features are completely working. You can do everything with the app and it's not in the applications folder and we didn't need a username or a password. Now, just to show you, I've made an applications folder on the desktop and I threw in a bunch of apps doing the same method. And as you can see, this is kind of a secondary app folder where you can put all the stuff that you didn't have before. It always worked perfectly, really well, and you never needed an administrator password. Now you can also run apps through the DMG folder. So you don't have to copy them to your desktop at all. But the problem with this is that when you quit the apps, they will not retain their data. And then it's just be better, better to copy them. Now, the only way that this does not work is if you're downloading an app that requires the installer package. So as you can see, this is a PKG file and it needs to run the installer application. And that does require an administrator password. And there's no way around that. But if you can find a standalone version, it will work perfectly fine. And that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with iAbletech128 and I will see you in the next one.